Hey, what's up everyone? Glock9 here and welcome back to Father Glock. It is the morning of day six. Let's go ahead and gas up this mini bike before we hit the road and throw some things in inventory here. I've got a couple of engines that I'm going to sell because I've got four of them right now and we don't need four engines. Uh, let's bring these glass jars down. We need to find a water source to fill those up. I'm bringing two cooking pots with me in case we want to do some cooking tonight. Uh, some extra water and of course the gasoline. All right, we've got quite a long drive ahead of us, uh, over seven kilometers to the new trader. Before we leave, though, let's spend these three skill points that we have. I'm going to go into Sexual Tyrannosaurus again. And uh, let's go Robin Hood again. I'm liking the bow. And with the last point, we'll go Advanced Engineering again. All right, let's roll. We are opening up trader routes this morning, which will then in turn open up tier two jobs for Trader Hugh here in our town. So that's nice. Uh, then we'll probably do a job for this new trader. And then, uh, depending on what time it is when we're done with that, probably start heading towards the restore the power job that we took for the White River Scout. And we can't activate that job until it officially rolls over tonight. So that's going to be interesting. And then once we complete that job we will use the rest of tonight to drive back to our church That was a long drive. 3% gas left. Pretty much a full tank. Let's gas her back up. Throw the gas back in storage along with this other stuff. And let's go see what Jen has for us. Oh, wait, the engines. I want to sell these. All right. Let's take a look around first. See if there's anything else in here we might want to sell to Jen. Glue, I'm good. I'm not going to take anything I can easily craft or get somewhere else since we're, like, you know, sleeping out tonight. And a workbench. Oh, steel pickaxe. That's nice. Hey, more lock picks. Great. Because Jen actually has, like, three safes that we can try and lock pick. Nope. Someone told me if you don't get a tire by the second wrench, you're not going to get one, so... I'm only wrenching them twice. I will take that oil. Uh, let's see. One, two, tire. Nice. Another lock pick. Sand. Uh, nah. Even though that was a decent amount of sand. That's all right. Don't need it. Um, I'll 
Take the paint of 40, negative 40 water. Nah. I've got fucking like nine bandages, so we should be good. Nothing there. One, two, tire. Sweet. I think I can get this wolf through the wall here. Oh, shit. I think I cut its head off. Well, that's cool. I'd harvest it, but uh, we got a full stack of meat, so don't really need much more right now. All right. Let's go see Jen. What up, Jen? Just killed a wolf well, outside, so you're Sora. welcome for that. Congratulations. 375 oh, XP. The Duke now. Let me sell you these engines, and uh, that's it. Yeah, I'm not going to sell her the oil. Let's see what she's got. Tailoring workbench. I want one of those. But uh, I'll craft one myself. Man, she doesn't have much. Um. Uh, no. Okay, then. I'll just uh, hold on to my coin. Thanks for the business. Uh, we'll let's get into dust. these safes here. At least try to get into them. Excuse me, Jen. I know this is unprecedented here, but I just need to, um, get back here to, you know, rob you. 275 bucks. It's a start. Here you go. Alrighty. Thanks for buying your own money. Stay Appreciate that. There. Okay, got in there. 326 bucks. Okay, with only two lockpicks left, let's try our luck with this one here. Damn it. Ah, fuck it, I'm beating into it. Damn, over a thousand bucks. Shit, that was worth it. Let's sell her all this cash. Tempted to beat into the third one, but almost hour 15, we gotta go. Let's do uh, the fetch and clear. It's close by, and it's two things. So we better get double the reward, Jen. Get out of the way, lady. I'm leaving the resources. I'm just here to clear zombies, grab the supplies, and the main stash, and then we're out of here. Uh, we got zombies at the front door, or the back door, whatever that is. They're trying to get in, but we also, I think, got one in this room. Yep, we got Mo in the bathroom. Alright, I guess we're going down in the basement. Oh, shit. Nope. Oh, damn it. I, you know, I saw that coming, too. And, uh, just stood there like an idiot. That's alright, we're fine. Ooh, what do we got here? Research notes, those are probably important. Alright, looks like the supplies are upstairs, we must have missed those. Uh, but I believe the main stash is down here, so let's grab that first. Uh, then we'll go grab the supplies, then we'll get out of here. Ooh, that's a decent grab. I was trying not to take too much loot so we don't get overly encumbered, but uh, I had to take all that shit. I'll go through it later. Maybe sell most of it to Jen. All right, uh, this has got to be the way to go. Oh, yeah. Damn, a biker, too? How many zombies were back there? Come on. Just die. There we go. All right, I think the only zombies left are the ones upstairs trying to break in. Brass, no. Here we are. Nah. Actually, you know what? We can sell these to Jen. We are going right back there. So we might as well take anything we can sell. Nice, whole bunch of parts right there. Probably sell that blade mod and the helmet light mod, though. Don't need those things, really. Nice. Three treasure maps. We'll worry about those when we get back to the church. Nice, man. I'm gonna scrap these, though. Oh, some lockpicks. That's good. Now we can try and break into this gun safe, because I really didn't feel like beating into it. But with six lockpicks, we got a good chance of breaking in. Another tactical rigging. Man, 
I wonder if you can put two of those on your chest armor. Probably not. I mean, the, my chest armor now only allows for one mod anyway, so I can't really test that. I'm gonna hold on to that tactical rigging, though. And just FYI, that thing opens up ten spaces of inventory in your backpack, so very nice. There it is. Okay. I'll take more ammo. Let's go find those supplies now. Try not to get overwhelmed by all the fucking zombies trying to break into this house. And get back to Jen's. Where is this thing? Uh, it's on this floor. Oh. Uh, is it in here? Oh, shit. You guys, there's doors. You don't have to, like, beat through walls and shit, you fucking savages. Get out of here, big boy. Scrap that. Uh, where the hell... ...is this thing? Must be in that room. Hmm... Can I go around? Uh... There it is. What's up, Jim? What do you got for me? A burning shaft? Yeah, I gotta go with that. I can't wait to tell all my friends I got a burning shaft from Jen. Fuck. Usually I can go without laughing when I say those things. I just couldn't help myself. We're gonna sell some shit, and then we're gonna go do this. I'm not gonna take another job from Jen, because it's gonna be a while before we come back down here. All right, let's roll. We got a little over three kilometers to this restore power job. It is just about hour 18. I'm sure we'll get there before it rolls over tonight. So uh, if we do, we'll just see. Maybe there's like a neighbor that we can loot or hang out in and just wait for night to roll over. So uh, let's just get there and see how it goes. I am going to stop and see if we can pick up another wheel or two along the way. Might as well, right? Uh, look at what we got here. Trader wrecked. Might as well mark him on the map. That's three traders in the world so far. Alright, here we are. Looks like the job is at Maggie's fucking cornmeal cafe. We cannot activate it until hour 22. Um, let me grab the meat and water out of the mini bike. And a cooking pot. And uh, let me throw some stuff in the bike, and then we'll loot this warehouse next door, craft a couple of campfires, get some meat cooking, and we'll just wait until nighttime. Another wrench, I'll take that. Oil shale, I'm good. I'll just mine it when I need it, once we can find the desert biome that is. Hey, a zombie. Check out my burning shaft, buddy. You want one too? I'll go see Jen. Another one of these welding tools, and oh shit, a crowbar! Beautiful! Man, everyone's been telling me to find a crowbar. Now we did! Apparently you can beat into anything that's locked really quickly with the crowbar, so that's good. Cause shit, we found three treasure maps today. On top of that, we got two treasures already on the map that we haven't went and got yet, cause I didn't have any lock picks. But now, let me just beat into them with the crowbar. Alright, this has been a great place. The loot so far. That door's locked. Let's pop it open. Even though this probably just leads to outside, right? Oh, look at that! One hit with the crowbar. Took the door off completely, which isn't the best thing, because then you can't play open, smash, shut. But, whatever. I don't think there's any main loot here. There's more stuff up here, though. Let's grab it. And I think that's it. Which is fine, um, because like I said, I want to put down some campfires and cook some meat anyway. Uh, and then uh, it should be just about night. Some more wood. And uh, I think that's pretty much it. Murky water. This just leads down to where we were before. Uh, I think there is a backpack up there, but I'm not too worried about that. We better take care of these zombies, though. No! 
Oh, well, we got some zombies outside. We better go take care of them. I mean, I have no idea what time it is, and it's hard to tell in the snow biome, but I would like it to be as quiet as possible around here when it does roll over tonight. Oh, loot bag. Springs. There's also a... Uh, a truck right next door. And these things sometimes have a shit ton of loot in them, especially the working stiff tools trucks. We gotta check this out. More zombies. That's alright, I thought there was a dog over here. I guess not. A low level ratchet, another tool and die set. Let's see if we can grab some gas. No. A little bit of gas. Throw that in the mini bike. There we go. Let's take care of these fuckers. Dead. 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 Search this car. We'll double loot it because fuck it. Who cares? Some ammo. Nice. Now we got Mo. Shit, they just never stop coming. I want to kill as many as possible. Because once it rolls over tonight, we're going to have to deal with, like, radiated zombies. Which, um... Sounds worse than it is. It's not too bad. As long as there's not a bunch of other zombies around, too. Alright. Some paper? Nah. Alright, we're looking good. It's pretty quiet. Oh, and now it's officially night. Let's, uh... Oh, boy. You're in zombies already. Let's grab the meat out of these campfires. And uh, let's go do this shit. Oh my god. We got fucking radiated zombies everywhere. Just in case you don't know, the ones that are smoking green like that, those are radiated zombies. They don't glow like they do in uh, vanilla. That's just how they look here in Darkness Falls. Oh boy. This is gonna be fun, huh? Let's try and be sneaky about this if we can. Let's see, if I could hit one with an arrow, bring it over here, deal with it, you know, one at a time. Oh, or just drop them with one arrow like that. Let's try that again. Oh, thank God for that Robin Hood perk, right? This is Father Glock, let's not forget. God's on my side. There we go. Activated. I want this loot bag. I'm going for it. Scrap bolts, and I'll take the oil. Let's see what I can shove in the mini bike. Not much, but opened up some space because I do want to maybe snatch the main loot out of here, you know? It depends. Depends how crazy it gets. Uh, we have to clear the area. And we have to restore um, two generators, which it looks like uh, they might be up on the roof. Damn! Stack of cash right there. Maggie doing business. Here we are. Come here, Mo. Take my burning shaft and like it. Keep watching our back. Oh, shit. And our front. Come on. It's on now, bitches. Guys, just try and be quiet, okay? We don't want to attract any of those glowing green guys, you know? So just kind of shut up a little. That door's locked. Fuck. Uh, we need a door to be able to get behind. <laughs> Back up, lady. Fucking Maggie. Die, biker. Yes. All right. That was not bad. I want that loot bag, but first, let's pop this door open, or at least unlock it. This way, like I said, we got a door that we can hide behind if we need to. Alright, that works. I mean, it's a small bathroom and we're kind of cornered in here, so not the best. But, uh... Oh, shit! Damn! That's not good. Okay. Open slash shut. Damn it, Mo. Fuck you. Yes. That is not bad. We're, we're doing okay. Fuck you, lady. Ooh, nice. 
Okay. Oh, boy. Here we go. I don't want to use a gun, because that's probably going to make things even worse. Hey, there we go. Shit. What's going on back here? We're fucking surrounded. Die, lumberjack. Come on. Jesus, the lumberjack's tougher than the fucking radiated zombies. Yes. Yes. Alright, we're doing good. We're doing good. Clear area. We still have zombies to clear. And we still have generators to restore, which uh, should be up here, I'm assuming. I don't remember the main loot. Um, oh, you know what? This is connected to that auto place. That's right. The main loot is in the auto place. This must be one of the generators. Activate it. Um, Alright, fuck it. Let's just do it then, I guess, right? It's gonna make noise and apparently attract zombies, I believe. We gotta just do it. Come on. Let's go. Oh, boy. It's puking bird. Die. Oh, my God. Fuck. Uh, dead. Come on. I don't think the zombies have a way up here. I don't think they can get up the same way I got up. Let's just... Hope this works. Shit. What happened? Did I fuck that up, or... Does that just happen? I don't know. I'm not touching anything, though. Alright. One generator down. One more to go. Alright, must be down in here. Let's just do it. It's not so bad. We didn't wake any up. Maybe we can be sneaky about this. Until we turn the generator on anyway, which is right there. And there's the loot. And one thing to keep in mind is there is no way out of here unless I hit that button on the wall and open up the garage doors, which I do not want to do just yet. And here we go. Hey, another treasure map. We're going to be fucking treasure hunters here in the next episode. Come on. She dead. Oh, oh my god, we gotta get up here. Uh, nope, up here. Okay, come on. Jump up. Just don't punch the van. I do not need this thing exploding. I really don't want to use guns. We could use the bow, though. Down he goes. Yes. <laughs> Alright. Shit. Oh, not good. I didn't feel like wasting 20 arrows on big boy. Alright, let's so use a bandage, and fuck it, let's fire up this generator. Clear area is not done yet, so... Fuck, maybe we'll attract the zombies to where we are. Let them come to us. Come on. Done. Oh, here we go. Dead. Uh, I don't want to fall down there. Damn it. Dead. We're good. Return to the traitor. Yes. Some more lockpicks. I'm going to grab this loot first. And then we're out of here. Oh, look at that. Just pops the crates right open. Uh, I'll take the eggs. I'm good. I'll drink one. All right, anything else I'm missing? Oh, here we go. Oh, look at this. Look how fast. That's a thing of beauty right there. Nice. All right, should we just get the fuck out of here? Not press our luck anymore? Oh, bow schematic and the contact grenade schematic. Not bad. Oh, my God. Um, can we get back on the roof? Well, maybe if I craft blocks, but instead, let's just pop these doors open. Oh, doghouse. Oh my god, the dog is right there. I'm running for it. Dog is awake. See ya. 
Holy shit. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. We gotta go this way. So long, you fucks. It was fun. No. Oh. Here we go. Wow. Okay, that was not so bad. It was not as bad as I, I was thinking it was going to be in my mind. I mean, it was pretty intense, right? <laughs> Holy shit. That was good, though. All right, that is done. We are headed back home. We'll go see uh, the White River Scout in the morning, get our reward for this job. Uh, we'll take a Tier 2 job from Trader Hugh. And tomorrow is our first Horde Night, so we've got some preparing to do. I think we're going to be all right. I got a whole bunch of cobblestone blocks crafting in the workbench before I left this morning. So I'm going to use those to line the outside of the church, giving it kind of, you know, making it two blocks deep, essentially. So hopefully by doing that, it will force them into my hell hallway in the front of the church. Because I have a feeling if I don't do that, then they're just going to be on all sides of the church. And that would be horrible. So, again, hopefully by lining the church with a second row of blocks, that will lead them into the hallway in the front. And as long as we can do that, I think I'll be all right. So, anyway, uh, that's the plan. I'm going to go straight home tonight, get uh, all this loot unloaded and organized, and that's where we'll pick up the next episode. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode, and I hope you're looking forward to seeing more. Thank you so much for watching and all of the support. It really does mean a lot. You guys can follow me on Instagram or Twitter if you want. It's at Glock9Gamer. I follow all gamers back. Stick around for more Father Glock, and I will catch you guys in the next episode.